Hello there everyone and welcome, my name is Nuda, and the name of the game is Pillars of Eternity. Thank you guys for joining me, last time we were over at the bridge, if you go to the wall map here, the Adelon Bridge, and we figured out how to kill some thugs who had been stealing Anguithian relics, I think it was, if I remember the, the names are uh, alright, I guess. Uh, but we went over to our little Cade Nua here, because that was one of the quests, and I thought that it's been a while since we did the, like, uh... Which one is it? The Master Below, Time and Tide. Find runes beneath Kate Nua, the Maze Below, Master Below, find endless paths. So I was thinking that we have leveled up a little bit and we are ready to do that. And I want to go over here and take a rest as well because we are having this here. System Shock is a lot. Ooh, that's a lot of things. And Concussion. Well, So we are not really ready, but as I arrived here, let's see, which one did we get? Is it this one? No, no, where is it? Speak to the mob in front of your great hall at K Nuas. We do have a mob around here for some reason. And we don't really know what this is all about. We we have figured like we've been we've been doing good stuff. We haven't really been doing kind of weird stuff. Have we done down here? I don't think we have. We're gonna do that later, maybe. Maybe there that's the ruins down there. So we do have oh god, we do have a lot of villagers and a merchant here. So what's going on? Uh, farmer, I wouldn't pay, so they set up my set my crops on fire. When my boy tried to stop him, they knocked him over the head. He's alive, but he can't think straight no more. Your boy got lucky. My guards, good men both, got put to the sword after they surrendered. I paid I paid those thugs what they wanted, but they still took everything I had. There he is, a woman points at you, and all the eyes in the crowd turn hostile, gazes upon you. How, do you know what I look like already? Alright, sure, that's good. I'm a, I'm a celebrity. So what's going on here? We want just this. You've been terrorizing us and we won't stand for it any longer. Well, go on. You sent your man to my farm to collect a crop tax, saying it was overdue. For me, it was a road tall. I've been traveling up and down this way for years and it was the first time I've heard, I, I heard of such a thing. Uh, other people in the crowd chime with, in with similar stories. Those weren't my men. If this, happening again, if this happens again, it's my order. You heard it directly from me. What makes you think I sent these men? Yeah, wh why would you think they did they say they were from me or did they have my colors or something? They said they were acting on orders from the Lord of Kay and Nua, but those weren't my men. Then who were they? They weren't no common bandits. You heard it directly from me. Say we believe you. What about what we lost? What about my crops? Uh, and my goods and the families of my guards? Here, this is all for you. Take this. No, I'm gonna be share this amongst yourself. Let's see. Leave before I hanged a lot of you from Kay and Nua's walls. I'll make these fan face yes this. You can count on it. Do this. We'll, we are we are the benevolent guy. You know it. So, and I, I have enough money that I don't care about, really. So share this amongst yourself. Most generous of you, my lord. The village is not as small as you uttering thanks so to dispute, distribute the coins between themselves. Or between them. Between them. So is that the angry mobs in with a thorn is never rule aside, eh, Luda? Marshal Thorwin. What brings you to K Nua? They're good people. Can't blame them for reaching that, reacting that way. No, really. I mean, they got killed or almost burned down. Yeah. So your subjects are fortunate to have a leader that understands the compassionate side of nobility. But for now, they will have to wait. I have news about Lord Gathbin. Let's discuss in the Great Hall, away from curious ears. Yes, do that. Oh, look at oh, his cape is so awesome. Why couldn't Why couldn't I join him directly? What do you think I have to do that is so? Oh, come on, let's go in here. Okay. Alright, so what do you want to talk to talk about before we go and rest? Is it this guy? Yeah, Marshal Forwin. Lord Luda. Yeah, that is me. I gained experience for talking to him. Oh, lovely. Okay. I've received word that Lord Gathbin is amassing an army of mercenaries near Genwin Field. It appears a peaceful claim to Kate Nua is no longer possible. The Earl has sent me to aid you in forming your own force to counter his threat. This threat. I'm here. In an adversary role only, of course. The Earl won't officially take sides in this dispute. Let's talk about my army. Uh, how much time do I have? Enough. It's rumored Lord Gathman will suffer a series of unfortunate and completely unforeseeable setbacks before his army is complete. He grins and winks. Still, at not very long. Oh, I, li I like this guy. I like this guy a lot. Get away! This is bothering me for some reason. Uh, if there's anything you wish to know, please ask. Oh, assemble the army. No, I, let's talk about my army. The marshal nods. Where am I getting my troops? I've sent out all. A, I've sent out a call for volunteers from the lands around Cape Nua. Hopefully, people will, will realize that being under your rule is preferable to that of Lord Gathbins. Any hireling stationed at Cape Nua will also accompany accompany you to the battle. So I suggest, suggest you acquire as many of them as possible. Yeah, that's good. So where's the status of my regular troops? Uh, the marshal shakes his head. Too green and too few. If you go up against Lord Gathbin now. Lord Gathwin now. Losses will be heavy. However, victory is still possible. We need to recruit veteran troops. Uh, I know a company of two veterans that would be willing to join us for a bit of coin. I'd say, oh god, let me think about it. 
So let me, so two, I know a company or two of veterans. Oh God, oh, okay. I thought it was a company of two that will join me. I was like, you, you think I'm going to pay them 5,000 each? Uh, what special allies do I have available? No one has offered their help, I'm afraid. It may be possible to find an ally in Defiance Bay amongst the Knights of the Crucible, the Dozens, or if you're truly desperate, how do we know? No, we're never going to do that. Okay, so that is all for now. Uh, why won't the Earl officially like I, I knew that. I have a fort at the Strong Wall. Why not let Gathvin's army come to me? Lord Gathvin isn't fool enough to risk tearing down Cadena or used to kill you. And if you shield yourself behind these walls, he'll have free reign to torment your subjects in the countryside. That's true, yeah. Earl Bedemar will see you, your inactions against Lord Gathin is a sign that you are all unwilling to perform your duties as Lord of Cadenua. Losing his support will have dire consequences. Taking the fight to Lord Gathin will be, is your only option. Okay, farewell. So we do have to gain... The, oh, press complete, okay. We do need to get... Help Marshal... Okay, so to fight Lord Gathin we need an army of Mount Marshal... Okay. So we kind of need to get like the Dawsons or the Knights. We, we don't really have a good time with the Knights, even though we helped them a little bit. So I'm having a feeling that the Dawsons is, is better. Which, where was it? Terrible Eclipse is... No, I think the Terrible to We do... We sh we're supposed to have... Is it this one? The Crucible Knights is looking for power weapons to hold them back. Uh, okay, so yeah, this Royal Gun sent was was un, has been unsuccessful. So we're supposed to go to the wed wooden plains. We could do that actually to gather uh, allies, I guess. We could go to do this as well. But even if it was in time of you should please the most serious. Yeah, we need to do that anyways because we're gonna go and say it, and tell him that we done what we did with the weapon and stuff. Uh, do we have anything here to the stone crawl? No. Okay. So, how much to raise an army? Yeah, I, I know about that. The Ivory Horn added. The quest will inspire exp expire in one day. 50% experience, another of our common copper and treasure. Uh, okay. Duration one turn. Okay. Uh, I don't really. I do already have. I do already have both of these. So let's just assign it to her. Paladina is assigned. There we go. Uh, let's see if we can rest. No bonus. Okay. Sure. Rest with no bonus. Yeah, I guess. I mean, instead of using our fire cap, we we just want to get rid of our like debuffs. I guess that we had on. Aloth and was it Kano had it as well? No, it was Durant's, I think. But let's see, so we are supposed to go down to the dungeons to find ruins under Cade New, I guess. We are gonna do that and then we're gonna head down and yeah. So eight hours has passed. We should almost have our building ready as well, right? In sixteen hours. So when we travel back to town, we're gonna have that ready. That's good. Alright, so head head down. Head down. Alright, so the dungeons is not looking real great, uh, but yeah, we don't really care about those. We haven't really taken any prisoners, and I don't think we are for a while. We could we could upgrade this uh, after this. We'll see. All right. So can we not go down? Isn't aren't we supposed to be able to go down here now? I think we are supposed to do that. So let's see if we can at least. So there should be no enemies around, if I remember correctly. I think I cleared everything out. So we sh this should not be like it was a force field here before. I think. So let's go sneaky, sneaky. Here we are. Okay, there we go. To think we are so close. Beneath our very feet lie the endless paths built by Ard Nua, the great Anguithan king. Well, up here, this is all Adirin, of course. But should we descend far enough, we will find some real history. I love Kana, so I'm gonna do this for Kana. Cover that great king's tomb would be a dream. But it is one of his servants I am after, Gabranos. A powerful mage, and a dedicated scholar, a keeper of lore, just as I mean to be. Ooh, that's cool. He was in possession of the Tanvi Oratoa, or whatever form of it preceded the one we know. I've seen it in ruins, alongside Gabranos' name. Scraps of the same symbols and verses we know in Rawatai. He must have held the words in high regard. Or perhaps he was even the author. Oh, well, let's start if looking then. If sources are correct, Gabranos will have brought the text with him. It will probably be within a library. Or a tomb, perhaps. It tends to be one of the two. Let's be off. Well, we actually gained experience from Kana being excited by that. So yeah, I guess I guess that is Kana's quest. Like, take Durans to the, field, to the, to the library, travel with Durans. Oh, travel with either, I mean. Uh, take either to the, the uh, archives, travel with Durans, help Kana find out more about this. And I guess Aleph will... Yeah, we have Aleph as well. Find, find the expert of Awakened Souls. So yeah, let's go down here. Alright, so we're starting off and we do have enemies right away. So I guess attack this guy. Everyone go out and attack this guy. 
Uh, I guess you could go for that guy and Bjorn go for that guy and we will interrupt them hopefully. No, we did not do that, but he died. So, sorry priest. You guys go over here and then you do that. I want Aleph to use his scepter since it's soul bound. Uh, and yeah. What is that? Is that me? That's me. Okay, sure. Uh, use this on that guy. Bjorn, you're going for that guy. Good. Kana, you can shoot that guy instead and you too could go for a priest. There we go. Go. Oh god, the fireball just went straight through us. So, drones, you can use this, I guess. There we go, they burn some guys. He's stuck. How long are you stuck for? Get out of there. There we go. And everyone else, go for that guy. I like your crossbow, actually. I like it a lot. It's not, not doing too much, taking too much time. And we got to level up on Lunar, actually. That's great. Uh, so we did not really gain anything special. There we go. We got some ingredients and Lunar is ready to level up. Awesome. We do have athletics. We do have a lot of athletics. Um, I guess lore or... I mean, mechanics is... These aren't really used in conversation and stuff. So so points to advance is 7. So we, we could take... We could wait with these. Class unlocks. Unlocks, okay. So he didn't really gain anything this level. Do we? Should we take one stealth? No, I don't think so. I mean, we do already have... So we could take survival instead, I guess. Bonus movement, really? I don't... Uh, received healing, multiplied damage reduction. We still we don't really want to go up there. We want to get like to the 7th rank, so... So should we... I mean, it says in conversation mechanics I'm used to... Mm, okay. So we could just do like this, just get one point in, in stealth, I guess that's better than nothing. That way next turn when we get six points we'll be up to eight and we can use... So no, we're not going to use that. Okay, so we're going to save for next. There we go, okay. Next, let's see what we have here then. Okay, so self. Ten accuracy granted to an ally attacking the same target. Uh, so that we, are, we are really using Ludo and Eater to group up. They're not attacking the same targets, they're trying to attack other targets. Okay. Revive! Oh! Commands an unconscious ally to get back up, giving a large but temporary spike to endurance. Someone which is lost after your Oh, this one. I think we're gonna take that one. We're just gonna look at these. It's not that all active. Okay. Deprived unworthy. So, how, how much is this? This is one per encounter. So, this one is not. Okay, so we can only use once per encounter, but it's not per rest at least, which is good. This one is two per rest. It's not that all active beneficial effects. On, okay, so if somebody's getting buffed, we can, we can get rid of that with the unworthy. Marks an enemy as a focus of Paladin Rights for Organic Accuracy and Damage Bonus against the target combats and for everyone or only for self? I guess it's only for self. Uh, sell the charge by the Paladin and all nearby allies to charge fiercely into battle, greasing the movement. Ew. Okay. Cannot be active with other Celis Auras. Do we have any Celis Auras? I don't know. We should look that up. We should look that up. But we're not going to take that anyways right now. Command an ally to summon their strength in order to... This gives us hostile... Okay. Inspiring Triumph. So is this passive? It is. And okay. Well, let's take reviving exhort exhortation, exhortation, because that is real good. We're gonna use that in our battles. That is a little bit tougher, where people tend to die. And there we go. We got plus one in mechanics and plus one in or another unlock there. We're level seven. Um, yes. I don't really remember. Is it level twelve or something? That is without uh, any. An Without any, uh, what are they called? Expansion packs, I think. So we are 12 and I'm gonna I'm gonna buy when I'm getting closer to it. I'm gonna buy uh, the next one. So let's fire out this worm here. Uh, Eater, you can go for that guy. The rest of you, you fire this guy. You too could go for this guy. And Bjorn as well, I think. The worm looks like he's taking quite a lot of damage already. Good. There we go, everyone else. Take the Sorb down. It feels like this this field here, or this battle here, is not something that is too tough. But I say that and it looks like there is like something in here. We'll go sneaky sneaky. So, the Sorb is lying in the corner of the chamber. It ribs Charles Stark starkly beneath its scaly hide and its breathing is labored, each whistling breath causing obvious discomfort. So, it doesn't seem to be reacting to your presence. Examine the Sorb. I looked the creature over, there's a strange discoloration in skin in several places, but you cannot see anything that would inform you of what ails this orb. Now, I'm not gonna cut its throat, not just yet. 
We might might want to find out what's wrong with him before we kill him. I mean, I am the be benevolent ruler. I'm not just going to kill people because they're like sick and stuff. So let's see if we can actually see if there's a priest or something. It does not look like it. So go for that guy, everyone. Here we go. Go like this. Go like this. Let's see, it looks like we could actually get some summons off here. They are really going for Luda for some reason here. Do that to yourself. Bjorn is going for that guy, good. Are you using your scepter? Oh, is it AoE? It looks like it is actually. Do this. So what are you doing here? Are you... Can you just go over here maybe? There you go. And what are you doing? We want to attack this guy, come on. There we go. And there we go. Everything went out great. Level up on Eater. Okay. There's something in there. Oh. So curled against the inside of this broken shell is a tiny white shape. Only one tiny toothed maw opens to let out a friend and squeak. It is clear that this is a small worm. Recently hatched. Pick up the worm. Are we gonna have a pet worm? Are we really gonna have a pet worm? Uh, these cracked eggshells are leathery but brittle. Most of them have been trampling to find us stamped with tiny clawed foot footprints. I don't know why I burped there, but I did. And something is hidden here. Oh, fine club. Accurate and fine. That is basically what Ludo is having right now, I think. So is that taking us down? Yeah, it's taking us one down once. But let's level up either before we start. Oh, there's a battle down there as well. Um, so he's having more in athletics than I am right now. And we're gonna we're gonna save that because I don't think there's any any need for him to take that. All right, so you have a lot of things. If I learn the battle pulling uh, melee crossing, so we do like clear out sweeps to fight the melee weapon in a large arc, knocking and throwing crossing crush damage. I do like this, but it's only two per okay, two per rest. Guardian stands is a model okay, one per encounter. To find it instantly, focus on the, on her turning single direction for. And I don't care for accuracy. We're really confident. Aim passive, minimum damage, minimum damage plus twenty percent. I will gl I gladly. I would add like that. To fight a draw strength when we saw when it was going to regenerate. Okay. Okay. Uh, so we don't really care for these. Let's go into the fray, I think. So it's pulling uh, into causing pierce damage and leaving them dazed. No, clear out, I think it was. In the arc. Two per rest. Yes, we're going to take this one. I don't really care. I, I just like it. I like the look of it. Let's just... Bring them. Bring there we go. So it looks like, I mean, I'm really happy with Alot's stuff, because it looks like it's AoE, which I like a lot. Are you guys, you can guys go, can go for this guy. Maybe we'll even see more enemies down there. Go for the worm. Uh, check if this, oh. Did we shoot our own guys? I don't know. As you wish. And what does the flame so there's somebody in there, so let's just run over here. Doesn't look like there should be any enemies. Okay, so we do, oh, trap triggered. A bad trap. Who died? Oh, Aleth got poisoned and, and shut down there. So you got severe burn. Okay, sure. So we did get hand and key. Damage reduction 10, fine and loyal. So Furman's curse. This scrolled up piece of parchment is covered in a smear charcoal scroll. Let me get it down in writing. I knew this was shit plan from the start. Mer Merrick Gleeful as a toddler convinced me they were going to help us out and helping us fill our pockets. Help Anders right in the great pit more like. And now you've all run off like hares. Meanwhile here's me up to my armpits and bones and sarp shit. I hope you're all rot down here. I hope Merrick trips right off the edge of the world and Refton loses what's left of his wits and guts and, the rest and guts the rest of you. Five results left and you run. Curse each and every one of you and curse me too for dying here on account of a bunch of mewling piss pots. Here's for when one of you rotten lizard bastards learns of Madirian. I hope you all fucking choke. Oh god. So this one is not cursed, I hope. Oh that, ooh, it has 4 out of 12. Mmm, I do like that. So that, even though it's not worked too much, it is, it is actually quite good. But we are gonna have to have a rest, I think, later. But we are also out of time. So we are gonna stop here. Let's stand this way. So we do have half of the room in the endless path of the A... Of all the new one. Okay, okay, yeah, that's right. And we do have, uh, yeah, a lot, lot rests, a lot left to explore. But that's gonna be it for this time, as I said. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the, the episode. And if you did, give it a like and subscribe. And if you didn't, give it a dislike, of course. And I'll see what I can do about it. But anyways, I do hope I'll see you guys next time. Bye.